This video isn't actually me. It's my AI clone that I told to talk to you right now. That was my AI clone that I just made with HeyGen's AI clone model. As the model continues to get better, imagine all the things that you could do. So in this video, I'll be walking through how you can use HeyGen to set up your own AI clone and a few use cases that I think you can get started with right now. Okay, so when you log into HeyGen, you get this screen right here where it says get started and it gives you three options. The first option is to create a video using one of their already made avatars. The second is to generate your digital twin and the third is to translate a video. So if you already have a video and you wanna translate it into a different language and actually make your lips look like they're moving, that will do that. But for this video, I'm obviously going to generate my digital twin. So I'm gonna say create avatar. Go ahead and say get started. So we only need two minutes of talking videos of you. You can talk. For this, I recorded a two minute video, basically just talking to the camera like this. I didn't make a lot of uh, hand gestures. The hand gestures I did make, I made sure they were below my chest and they didn't make any like pointing, anything like that. So you can do hand gestures. You wanna look at the camera, you wanna pause in between sentences. But you, I basically just rambled on for two minutes about my life and then I'm gonna upload it here. So here's the text instructions, submit two to five minutes, high resolution, well lit, look directly into the camera. Next steps, I'm gonna upload my footage here, browse local files, your face is visible at all times, you're looking directly into the camera, yes. There are pauses between sentences, yes. The environment is well lit and quiet, yes. I keep ambient sounds in my recordings. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. My footage looks good. Let's go. To prevent misuse of technology, we need to confirm the person in the video is you. Or you can scan the QR. Okay, so I'm gonna record via webcam. This might mess up the video, but let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and record. So this is funny. Haha. <laughs> I, Nicholas Conley, hereby allow HeyGen to use the footage of me to build a HeyGen avatar for use on the HeyGen platform. For safety purposes, this is the passcode XFXY. Finish recording. That's funny. So I'm basically giving it rights to using my avatar, right? Because if somebody took a video of, let's say, like a celebrity and made this avatar, and then you could make them say whatever you want, I guess there could probably be legal issues there. So you need to give it your consent to use your avatar. Now it's just validating. Your consent is validated, submit. Okay, so now it's going to upload my video. It's uploading pretty quick. And now my avatar is being created. So it's gonna take a few minutes here. They'll notify me by email once my avatar is ready and I can start making it talk. Um, so I'll go ahead and cut the video here and we can jump to the next clip when it is ready. Okay, I just got the email that my AI avatar is ready to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Hey Nicholas, out. your instant avatar is ready. Try creating videos with next. Okay, so we can scale marketing content, personalized video messages, learning and development videos. Next, okay, let's see. Hey Nicholas, your instant avatar is ready. Try creating, so I think if you upgrade, you can get a little bit higher resolution, but this looks pretty good, especially for the free plan. So now that my avatar is built, I'll go ahead and say create video, avatar video. I'm gonna go ahead and say landscape for this one and I'm gonna use my avatar that I built here. So I'll go ahead and click on that and then I'll go to script. And then I already typed out a script before this that I will paste in here. And then once it looks good to me, I'll go ahead and just say, submit, name the video. Hey Jen, first try. Now I wish I could do 1080p, that's only on the paid plan. So we'll go with 720 for this. And we're also gonna have the watermark, but if you wanna upgrade, you can obviously take that off and upgrade it to 4K or 1080p. Let's go ahead and submit. So now it's actually creating the avatar. So it looks like it's gonna take a while to 42% ready. So I'll go ahead and come back when it's actually ready to go. And we're back. So that took about 10 minutes to generate. Now we have our video that we can go ahead and check out. And I will go ahead and play some of that on the screen. I'll walk through some of the use cases that I included in on this video. So you can see 
all the different things you can actually get started with right now using an AI avatar like this. Okay, so the videos are ready to go. I gave it three different prompts that I want it to walk through. So the first one is going to be a podcast intro. The second is going to be a sales call. And then the third is just gonna be an intro to a short form video. So let's go ahead and watch them and I'll go ahead and give my give my honest thoughts here. Hey there, and welcome to my super dope podcast that I spent a lot of time researching and filming for. I'm so excited to have you here with me today. Today, I wanna to talk about the crazy story of Todd Graves, the CEO and founder of Raising Canes. It seems pretty monotone so far. I don't love that. I mean, it's probably the voice that I fed it. It doesn't have like a lot of inflections. It's like, hello, how are you? Today, let's go. So maybe that's on me, but that's the one critique I would say so far. Today, Todd is worth $9.5 billion and is known to make arguably the best chicken fingers in the US. But it wasn't always clear that Todd and Raising Cane's would be a success. So in this podcast, the other thing is it seems like it keeps playing the 10 seconds or 30 seconds over and over, but maybe that's just because I didn't feed it enough video. So tip, you probably want to feed it, like the more video that you feed it, I'm guessing the better that it does. I'll break down how Todd went from a broke LSU college student who got last place in his school's startup pitching competition to breaking all of the rules and building one of the fastest growing fast food franchises in the United States. Now the lips are actually pretty good. The hand gestures are a little crazy and maybe it can, maybe that's on me. I know it's all about what you train it, but the, the hand gestures are like bing, bang, bing, bang. So I don't know. Let's dive in. But first, a word from our sponsors. Hey, John. That was, that was monotoned. Okay, so here we have the sales call. Hey, John. So let's get into it. Can you tell me a little about your role at Facebook? Awesome. And what would you say is the most annoying thing about the way you currently process your payroll? Last week, Elon announced... Which okay, so now here we have the short form video. Your payroll. Last week, Elon announced the new cyber cab, which we could see on the roads as early as 2026. And the craziest part? The car itself could be your next business. Actually, that might have been the best one. I'll go ahead and clip that up to what it might actually look like a short, and I'll play that right now. So the funny part is that when I was editing it, it basically said, hey, it's gonna keep playing the video. Uh, we don't have enough like script. Uh, and I could have edited it down, but I wanted to see what it would be like if it didn't have any script and it just created the video. And so let's, let's take a look at what that looks like. Man, it's just the, <laughs> it's just the hands. So it definitely took like my, video that I gave it and it's like replaying it, looping it, and then doing sort of the same gestures. It's funny, you can see sort of my face there. That's how they, it, you could tell it's like digitized and that's how they render it to actually do the uh, different lip motions and whatnot. But it's funny because I definitely keep doing like these, it just keeps replaying the hand motions here. So that's pretty funny. So overall, look, I'm impressed with this. I think that if I upgraded to the paid plan and did 4K video, and I also gave it a lot more film, it would probably look a lot better. But again, like this is pretty impressive just for a free trial, two minutes of footage and a basic script. So let me know what you think in the comments. I think this is not quite there, but it's almost there and we'll be there within the next couple of months. So like always, thanks for watching and peace.